Hi, and welcome back to Just a Plants Ma'am, where we make plants for the people. And today, I'm going to be making some muffins for my mother, mm -hmm. and my kids. So, I got Maddie Lindberner's ebook a few weeks ago, maybe a week ago, whenever her Easter sale was, so like around April 1st, so it was a week ago. Got her ebook about a week ago, and I was looking through those recipes, and they all look really good, and so I asked my mom, which recipe would you like me to make? And of course, my mom being my mom, she said, muffins! Make the muffins! Of course, my mother is the queen of muffins. This woman has made more muffins than anybody I've ever met before in my entire life. She is the queen of muffins. So, this is probably like the second time I've ever made a muffin in my life because my mother is the queen of muffins. Why would I bother making a muffin? But she was like, I want you to make Maddie's muffin. And I was like, okay, I'll try. So, let's go make these muffins, guys. And... Fingers crossed, something works out. Maddie, I'm going to be summoning your spirit and hoping for your help. Please help me. Yes. Cooking I can do, baking, uh, not so much. So, let's go try this recipe. So, me being me, it's blueberry chocolate chip muffins, so I'm making um, carrot raisin muffins because I can never, ever follow a recipe exactly to a T. There's just something in me that just won't allow me to do it. I don't understand. One day I'm going to do it, I swear. I One day I'm going to follow a recipe exactly the way it is written. Yes. But in the meantime, this is like... I'm only doing a half half recipe, so it's like a cup of flour, a teaspoon of baking soda, and some cinnamon powder. And then we got uh, three quarter cups of plant milk, a quarter cup of applesauce, five dates, some lemon juice, some lemon zest, and that's it. Let the blending commence, because those dates are not going to be going in the muffins like that. Oh no, blend them. From what I recall in muffin making history, you're supposed to sift your like dry ingredients together, but mm -mm, your girl ain't got time for all that action. We're just going to stir and then dump our wet ingredients in there. Okay, this is not fancy schmancy cooking school cooking. This is mama's making muffins and the kids are screaming and we got to get this crap done because people got to eat making muffins. Okay, that's what we do here. Okay, so anyways, let's try not to mix the muffins too much because you'll probably get a tough batter and nobody wants that. So mix thoroughly, but not too thoroughly, and then add in your extra ingredients. Hey there, little mom, put those muffins in those pans. And if you kind of get where that song's from, you can give me a thumbs up because that movie was awesome. Um, anyways, back to the muffins. Let's try and put generally the same amount of mixture in each muffin cup because otherwise you're you're going to have unevenly cooked muffins and like you already went through all this trouble so you might as well make sure that your muffins have an equal amount of mixture in each little cup and they will turn out delightful. I promise. Put your muffins in your oven at 350 for 30 minutes. I really didn't want to burn them so I came and checked on them after like 25 minutes because just because I was using a toaster oven so I thought it might be different than a regular oven but they still needed to cook some more so I put them back in for like another th two three minutes. All right I don't really know why I did this but Every time that my mom makes muffins, she does this. So I figured that it's just part of the process and something that has to be done. You take them out of the oven, you put them on their side, you let them cool for a bit. Of course we have to cut them open and look at the inside. I am not crazy. Um, but I would just say that I would probably leave them in for the full 30 minutes just because the inside could be a little more well done just by looking at them because I didn't get to eat any of them. <laughs> oh, they look so yummy. 
So my mother, being my mother, came home and tried my muffins and was like, oh yeah, they're really good. And I was like, okay, good. That's awesome. She's like, but I think I'm going to try to make them myself with um, the chocolate chips, like Maddie's recipe said, and see how they turn out. And I was like, oh, really? Really, Mom? So you're going to make the muffins yourself, huh? Though after you asked me to make the muffins for you. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. So it's a freaking bake-off. And my mother's the judge because I can't eat them. But even with my mother being the judge, she tried hers with the chocolate chips and she tried mine. And uh, guess who won? Mm-hmm. That's right. Your girl over here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Me. I did it. I did it. I won. I won. Ah. I had a muffin contest with my queen muffin mother, and I came out victorious. Thank you, Maddie, for helping me. I knew summoning your spirit earlier would help me. Mm-hmm. So, you guys want to make some marvelous muffins, I suggest going over to Maddie's YouTube channel or her Instagram. I'll link the, the recipe in YouTube down below so you can go check out her muffin recipe. Yes, you can see the queen make it herself. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more videos like this for me in the future. I hope you pretty plan people have a glorious day, and I'll see you guys next time.